Hello and welcome to another YouTube tutorial for Kerbal Space Program. You have probably visited Moon and Minimus countless times by now and you are wondering what should I do next? Well the next logical step would be to go to another planet, right? So let's just do that. The most important thing to make an interplanetary ejection is to know your right phase angle. For this to work, I would suggest you checking out this website. It's called ksp.olex.biz and it has this neat little feature. It's called transfer calculator and you just have to enter your origin, your destination and your parking orbit, which is 100 kilometers from me. And I will try to get to Dunar and of course my home planet is Kerbin. Any other valuables are fine as well. You can go to Eve, you can go to Mo or Huel's uh, system is also very nice and well then just do the mask and it gives you some numbers. The first is the face angle. Uh, this is obviously as you can see on the picture your angle in relation to your target this planet which is Duna right here and it just uh, says that your planet has to be 44.36 degrees apart from Duna in order to work. Uh, you don't have to match these angles on point. You can also uh, eyeball them. It really works, but I suggest you are working with uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux, which I use as well to make this video, and you will just uh, see that in a moment. So hang on. Now the next thing is the ejection angle, which is 150.91 degrees for us. And this just tells us that we have to have a um, ejection angle of 150 degrees in relation to Kerbin's prograde vector. So this is, as you can see, Kerbin. Then you just scroll out to see where your prograde vector is and you burn at 150 degrees. Again, this uh, doesn't have to be very precise. You do will just have to burn a little bit more of delta V when you are not that precise. But it shouldn't bother you too much if you don't get it on point. So ejection velocity, of course, um, this number added to your orbit orbital velocity and your ejection burn, the delta V you need to get from low Kerbal or Kerbin orbit to Duna is uh, 1043 meters per second at least. So you will have to burn this number to get to Duna, or rather to get an interception with Duna. As you have th seen on the side, our face angle has to be at 44 degrees. And you can totally see this is not the point at all. When we rendezvous with Duna right here, it gives you... Oh, this is basically just a uh, Kerbal Engineer Redux I'm using right here. And the rendezvous option. So this gives us a intercept angle of 89 degrees in relation to Duna and we can either just speed up but I'm in a low orbit so that will take a lot of time or we go to the space center speed it up there I'm just showing you how this works seconds Because from the space center you are not bound to time, uh, li to limitations in time travel, so you can do it way fa uh, way faster here. But you also notice that this also takes a lot of time. Well, when you're playing carrier, you will have to sit it out, but I don't have to because oh, one second. Because I am using hyper edit to edit the orbit of Kerbin, which is probably considered cheating when you're playing carrier, but 
is way faster this way. Power editor, select. Oh, carbon is already selected, so. You see the numbers changing right here when I'm editing the orbit of Kerbin and 45 degrees this suits us pretty well I know it's not 44 but uh, it doesn't matter that much you will just burn a few meters per second more so you see the the huge orbit around Kerbal and you had this 150 degrees of your uh, ejection burn and our ship is just in orbit around Kerbins so this gives us the prograde vector and this is the retrograde and in relation to that we have to get to somewhere around 150 degrees so we are pretty close to that actually it should be around here or something and when we are pulling our prograde vector now whoops we should have we almost have a rendezvous with our planet target planet so we're just playing around with the uh, radial and anti-radial maneuver nodes and you see we have our encounter which is pretty solid at this point so we are burning thousand uh, thousand and fifty meters per second to get our encounter and let's just do that right now or rather in 30 minutes ah this takes too long Orbit editor, select active vessel, scroll in, and change longitude. Whoops. Now let's add the maneuver node again and see where we we are going to come out again overshot. And there we go, we have our maneuver. You see, um, because I've changed the maneuver node to not exactly 150 degrees, so we have to burn like 23 de uh, meters per second more, but that shouldn't bother us too much, I guess. So let's just start our burn. And it should work pretty well, I guess. So I'll just fast forward this part. Or maybe I'm not. Uh, you can see our orbit is rising over here and we have burned half of our ejection burn. So we should come pretty close to our encounter. Maybe we don't hit it right point on should be pretty solid I guess. Now cancelling the time warp and there we go we have our encounter. It's not perfect because you can see the uh, orbits are not probably uh, properly lined up and you will probably have to burn a little bit more delta v to get into Duna's orbit. Uh, so you better make sure that your uh, Hohmann transfer 
gets you to the same orbit as your targeted planet. So we should lower our apps over here just a little bit, but that shouldn't bother us too much, right? So I guess this should be fine. On to the next part. We are now in orbit around Minmus and we still want to get to Duna but you will see that when I'm launching 150 degrees from Duna I will probably not get my encounter or maybe I do well that's just just shouldn't be so easy I guess whatever we are pretending that it doesn't work right now and the website also can't calculate on how to get from Minmus to Duna. So what we are doing right now is we are looking at more than one orbit because our ship has an orbit around Minmus and Minmus has an orbit around Kerbin which has an orbit around the Sun so we have three orbits to monitor. The first thing is what is going to happen if we burn at a specific time? Now you can see here the prograde vector from Kerbin is over here, the retrograde is over here. And obviously when we burn prograde we will um, raise our apoaps. So the orbit should go over here like this and when we burn retrograde in relation to Kerbin our orbit will change to there for example. Now we have to look where Minimus is in relation to Kerbin. So when we are uh, burning over here I mean uh, pr we are always have to burn prograde first things first always have to burn prograde because when we are burning retrograde we will lose our orbit around our uh, parent body right so we are burning prograde but the thing is where we uh, are going to do that when we are burning prograde over here we are burning retrograde in relation to Kerbin so we will uh, just lower our overall orbit as you can see right here but when we are burning prograde over here we will raise our orbit because we are burning prograde in relation to Kerbin or in relation to Kerbin's orbit now the best thing would of course be to burn over here when our ship orbits over here to get the most of our burn so let's just see what happens when we we are going to burn over here orbit editor select minmus uh, make this graphic And now we are, are adding our maneuver and our orbit should just widen up. So let's see what happens. And there we go. And we are pretty close to an encounter with Duna. This is just because of our uh, phase angle in relation to Duna, of course. Now playing around with the maneuver nodes a little bit. Whoop. There we have it. Duna encounter. And it's actually not the worst of encounters there. Are. Now, when we would um, perform this burn, but on the other side of Kerbin, what happens? Oh, both at the same spot. see our orbit is shrinking 
and this is why you should always monitor more than just your your ship's uh, orbit but the orbit from your parent body as well so you have to look closely to where you are uh, in relation to your home planet and that's it probably I think I don't have any more things to add and I hope you learned something here so goodbye and see you next time